Hey guys, it's Mindy. So it is Friday, and like Friday is a payday for you, Friday is a fish day for me. So it's wholesale day. So I, it's like the day that I get to go to the wholesaler and go get some fish for my fish tanks because I don't have enough fish as it is. So I get to go and get more fish. So I just got back from the wholesaler and um, I've got a couple boxes of fish. So you get to unbox them with me. So I go to a local wholesaler here in town. Um, I won't mention their name just yet because I don't really have permission to not mention them, but um, they are local here in Michigan. And um, I'm going to start grabbing some bags here to show you exactly what I got, some exciting stuff to put in my fish tank. So I got a lovely orange sponge here. Um, this one's a little bit different. Um, it was kind of weird. It actually looks like a coral. And Vera, what are you doing? What? You gotta go sit. Go sit down. Go sit down. Um. So I got an orange sponge. Let's see. I got a garden eel. Have you guys ever seen a garden eel? I already have one. I had two to begin with. Vera, come on, get on your chair. So I got a garden eel. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen garden eels, but they go into the sand and they burrow and then their little heads poke out of the sand like this. And I had two to begin with and then I found one on the carpet, dried up. So you can't have any little holes on the top of your tank because they'll find their way out of the tank. So I got another garden eel. This one's gray and my other one's orange. So, um, so you know, he'll, uh, he, these actually go on my seahorse tank. So let's see, I got a, non-photosynthetic yellow uh, gorgonian. We'll see how long I can keep this thing alive. Um, let's see what else I got in here. Ooh, I got a striated angler because I only have like five anglers as it is and I needed another one. <laughs> um, I got some rocks. Let's see. Ooh, here's my Ganapora. Okay, so I got a red Ganapora. This baby looked amazing, and I cannot wait to see how it looks in my fish tank. Here is another Gorgonian. I know I got a red non-photosynthetic Gorgonian that's gonna go in my seahorse tank also. So that's there. Here's another Gorgonian. How many Gorgonians did I get? I don't know. I'm putting a million Gorgonians in my seahorse tank because that's what Ow. I'm gonna do. I'm putting a million Ow. Gorgonians. Yes, Vera? You're okay. I got the itch. You got some itch? I got some zoos, zooanthids. I got three seahorses. They're just uh, black lined erectus ones. They were really cool because they were black with like silver on them and they had like the little like um, spikies coming off the top of their heads. Um, because my last minute I got, I only got like six of them and so that wasn't enough. I needed three more. Um, so yeah, so I can went a little overboard. Oh, I got two cocoa worms, the red and white ones, for my uh, seahorse tank. And. Uh, this is an orange mushroom. It had like some uh, star polyps on it too. Let's see um, if there's anything underneath here. I'm actually wearing clothes today. Someone made a comment that I was lame for not wearing clothes in my last video. So I actually put on jeans today and wore some clothes. Um, and I got 15 million uh, damsels to feed all of my aggressive fish because that's what my aggressive fish eat. So whenever I go to the wholesalers, I probably buy about at least 40 uh, damsels every two weeks to feed my, my aggressive fish. So I keep them in my feeder tanks downstairs. So um, that's about it. I'm going to get everything acclimated and in my tanks. 
right now, and I'll show you how they look once they're in my tanks. Let's go. Here's my beautiful red Ganapora, which came out nicely. And as you can see, my walking dendro came over to say hello and greet my Ganapora to the fish tank. Here's a small piece that I got. I had the orange mushrooms with the like the daisy star polyps that were attached. And here is the striated angler. Or you could also call him a hairy frogfish. He's so cool. And get ready for some seahorse footage. Here are the cocoa worms. Here's one of the non-photosynthetic Gorgonians.
Alright guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video and all the unboxing of all the lovely gifts I brought to you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed all the seahorse footage, because uh, who doesn't love seahorses? So thank you again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave comments below. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see next, leave it in the comments section. Uh, please like and also hit the bell notification. Share if you'd like to. I'll have another video coming very shortly. And again, thank you. I love you all, and I'll see you again very soon.